<laughs> I wanted to give you a little bit of history, a little bit of education about prohibition. Something that you probably did not know, on October 27, 1919, the Volstead Act was put on the president's desk, President Woodrow Wilson. He vetoed it that night, only to be overridden by the House and the, uh, the, House and the Senate the very next day. And the Volstead Act, also known as the 18th Amendment, prohibition started January 20th, the very next year, just a couple months later. I don't think anybody knew at that time, with that veto or that overriding, that we would have some of the biggest names in crime come up, such as Enoch Johnson, Al Capone, Lucky Luciano, but also we'd have some of our biggest heroes, Elliot Ness, J. Edgar, a. J. Edgar Hoover. Even though it was very difficult for people to get alcohol at the time, it was very interesting because alcohol would actually pop up in the most mysterious ways, in the most mysterious places. The common people would actually use very common methods to hide their alcohol, hide their, their booze, their liquor. And this is the way that they would actually do it if the government men, the G-men, came barging in, they'd put it in a paper sack. And people would go, hey, what's in the paper sack? Oh, nothing. Okay, it's still there, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Smarter people, people in the know, would actually use more devious methods. And let me show you one such method. a box and a cylinder. The person wanting to hide the alcohol, the bootlegger, the common Joe, whoever would just put it into the tube. I know, that's what I said. <laughs> they were actually able to take the tube out, share the box. It was amazing, people were able to transport alcohol this very way. Once they got to their destination, they were able to say their magic words and bring out their alcohol and have a party. As the G-men would rush in, they would actually make clowns out of them. What do you think? I am going to need an assistant to show you what happens if one of the G-men would actually capture someone that had alcohol, had the booze? Where's Sticks? Sticks, come on up here. I want to, want to give you a hand, or have you give me a hand? <laughs> Sir, if you have a stand right here, I am going to have you pretend to be the person with the booze. I will play the part of the G-Man. Go ahead and hold it sideways there for me so everyone can see it nice and solid there. Good. Now my question to you, what is your best time of getting out of a pair of regulation Smith & Wesson handcuffs? These are on loan from Manny's House of Manacles, where quality is not just a word, it's a noun. <laughs> So what is your best time? Four and a half minutes and a dislocated thumb. Four and a half minutes and dislocated thumb. Well, I don't want you to dislocate anything this time, so I will actually do it for you. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, some people say when they drink, they actually break out in handcuffs. OK, now go ahead and face the crowd. This is your debut, not your debut. 
He's a frickin' jokester, eh? Excuse me. So, now, no, 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 come, come a little closer. What? Whoa. Oh my goodness. What in the world? Did you move? No. Nobody move, I think it's a trick. <laughs> I, are you sure? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, let's see. Here, come down here this way. Come down this way, you're with me. Okay, I know. Oh, gosh! Are you okay? I'm good. Ow. <laughs> I hope your children all have buck teeth. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see here. No, I'm okay. You, you hold on to the bottle. Okay. okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have learned tonight about the Volstead Act of 1919, which went into effect January, ow, these are, ow, 1919, that went into effect January 20th of 1920. It went into effect and stayed in effect until 1933 when the 21st Amendment repealed it. We also learned how people can actually out hide alcohol, transport it, and we can learn that Rob really doesn't know how to get out of a pair of handcuffs. That's the pretty bad part. If you are caught with a bottle of booze during Prohibition, you would be said that you were caught red-handed. That's going to give Six a big hand. Thank you, Six. That's for you, sir. Have a seat.